last Friday, number one Gillette took on number four Laramie. Laramie was on a four-game winning streak. Gillette had won three in a row. Laramie's last win against the Camels was in 1996. Gillette getting pumped up at midfield at the new d Stadium, a beautiful facility. First quarter, Taylor Dodd trying to get outside. Lane Tucker, the 6'5 senior, gets him from behind for a sack, his third sack of the season. Then Dodd gets hit again. Tucker avoids Durgan, throws it down the field, caught by Elias. Great job by Dodd keeping that play alive in the first half. He was good. 17-27, 237 yards. Still no score, though. Later on, here's... Austin Clementson breaking loose, somehow getting by inside to the Laramie five-yard line. Gillette gives off Clementson off left tackle, and he is in. Touchdown, Camels. That was one of three scores for Austin Clementson in the game. He had 145 yards. 7-0 Camels. We move on to quarter number two. Dodd fires to Connor Beeston, who had six catches for 55 yards. He makes the catch and gets a huge first down for Laramie. Same drive. A give to Jason Upton. Finds a seam. Gets close to midfield. Laramie moving the football early in this game. Now they're in camel territory. A shuffle pass, and that's a nice open field stop by a Gillette defender right there, Andrew Coleman. He had a nice game. Here's Don looking right, firing right. Beeston gets it tipped away. Ty Maya, his eighth pass breakup of the season. That leads the state. Camels get the ball back up seven. Play action pass. Wilkerson rolling, looking. Intercepted. Connor Beeston. Finds some room, gets all the way up to near the Camel 40. Laramie with an opportunity here down seven. Dodd pump fakes, fires. Baxter Tuggle makes a catch, gets inside Camel territory to the 38. Second quarter, Laramie with a chance to score here. Dodd at a quarterback draw. He gets stuffed by three Camels. Gang tackling for Gillette, that's the name of the game. Now Dodd throws. Caleb Durgan, the interception near the 15 yard line. Only the second interception this year by Gillette. Durgan his first. Camels get the football back as they have some momentum up seven. Keaton Wilkerson finding some running room. This was his biggest gain of this contest. He had 54 yards on the ground. He gets up near Laramie Territories. He's up into there by Upton. Same drive. Wilkerson, three-step drop. Fires to the right side. Complete to Parker Long. He had four catches, 90 yards. Finds a seam. He gets inside the Laramie red zone. Gillette threatening up seven. Wilkerson again. This time it's Austin Clementson down the left sideline, cuts up right, gets hit from behind. He is inside the Laramie 10-yard line. Gillette, though, would have to settle for three. Dalton Young has made five straight field goals. He hits that one from 25. It's 10-0 Camels. Next drive, Taylor Dodd pump fakes, tries to find the outside. Boom! Big time hit, Cade Bradley. Oh, watch out for that one. That pass is broken up. Same drive, Laramie down 10. Dodd rolling left, fires left. Pass tipped into the hands of Connor Beeston. It's a nice play. Laramie, though, would get inside the Camel red zone. Have to settle for three. Blake Moore hit two field goals in the game. It's 10 to three. Laramie within a possession. Still second quarter. A screen pass. Clements with a convoy. Cuts left. Now switches field. Still on his feet after the stiff arm. Down the left sideline. He's got a first down and more as he goes out of bounds. Gillette would get nothing on that drive, however. Now Taylor Dodd finding a seam. He's a good dual threat quarterback. This time he picks up a first down, gaining 15 yards. That would set up right before the half. Another opportunity for three for Laramie. It's a 10 to six halftime score, but then Gillette in the third quarter. They score on four straight drives. Here's the first one. This is Parker Long, 68 yards as he catches it. One of his two receiving scores, and the Camels have a 17 to six lead. Parker Long in this game was magnificent on both sides of the football. We mentioned the four catches, 90 yards, the two receiving touchdowns. He has six total touchdowns on the season. Laramie would get it back. Andrew Coleman stuffs this play. Gillette's defense really got some easy stops in this third quarter as Laramie tries to move the football. They do get it into Campbell territory here, but they give up the ball. Keaton Wilkerson, a play fake, fires, pass complete. Matt Tyler Hilliard makes the catch, gets hit immediately for a gain of about Five yards, Nate Berman with a good open field stop, but Gillette keeps moving the football, folks. Here's Austin Clemson, breaks one tackle, gets outside, cuts left, splits defenders down the right sideline. This is his second of three rushing scores in the game. The Camels score on two consecutive drives there. It's 24 to six. Laramie gets the football back. The Camels would outscore Laramie 28 to nothing in this third quarter. A big reason, the defense, Glick, Coleman, they combine to get a stop there. Just a gain of about a yard now on a big third down. Dodd steps up. Coleman hits him for the sack. His first sack of this contest. His second sack of the season. Camels up 24-6. 
Dodd now with Laramie deciding to go for it on fourth down. He's in trouble. Trent Johnson hits him, takes him down. It's a turnover on downs. The Camels get the football with great field position. They're looking to score on their third consecutive drive. Keaton Wilkerson, run pass option. That pass is complete and out of bounds to Trent Johnson, his third catch of the season. Then a play action pass, Wilkerson five-step drop. Lobs it over the middle, wide open, Madden Pakula, a touchdown. Pakula had three catches, 49 yards, and that receiving score, 31 to six Camels. Laramie gets the football back, trying to get something going, but they just can't get anything. Gillette controlling the line of scrimmage up front. Watch this play right here. The fumble and then the fumble recovery by the Camels. They get the football back, more good field position. The give, Madden Pakula finds a seat. Gets outside, gets a block, down the left sideline. Hesitation move, and he's inside the five. Camel's a good opportunity here. Keaton, run pass option. Parker Long again, his second receiving score. Camel's score on four straight drives to enter the third quarter. They lead it 38 to six. Laramie desperate right here, trying to find something. That pass batted down by big Lane Tucker, the 6'5 senior. Of course, he's going to North Dakota State. Laramie trying to get some points. Taylor Dodd runs this one in. From five yards out, it's 38 to 13. Laramie would actually put up 21 fourth quarter points in the game, but it wouldn't be enough as they were down by a lot. Here's a screen to Austin Clemenson. Cuts right side, puts on the speed, dives into the end zone. Gillette, after the Dalton Young extra point, a 45 to 13 lead over the Plainsman. Plainsman trying to get something going. Elias trying to get in around. Trent Johnson in the backfield. Elias breaks a couple of tackles, gets up the football field. Lane Tucker finally gets him, along with Breyer Sims. Gillette's still leading by a lot here. Same drive, Dodd passes, a pass breakup. Aton Ferdiwan had the chore of covering the number two receiver in the state, Connor Beeston, number one in yards, and Ferdiwan did a nice job. Now, Jason Upton finds a seam late in the fourth quarter. He scores, it's 45 to 20, but it would be too little, too late. Later in this game, what a big time hit. Garrett Wharton, he had a good game on defense. This year, he leads the state, folks, with 19 tackles for loss. What a year he's having. He also has five sacks. Camels have the football. Back, a lot of backups in right here. Camels trying to run it right there. Maxson finds a seam and gets up there, a gain of about 15, and that would end the contest. The Gillette Camels beat Laramie 45 to 27. Seven and one, Gillette has won four straight games for ranked teams in as many weeks. If Gillette wins next week at home against Cheyenne East, they will get home field advantage throughout the playoffs.